Hey guys, it's Aces, and today I had a little bit of an idea. Um, shout out to a, t a Killing Four T YouTuber named Pathfinder, who does these kind of frequently, and I think he got the idea from Warhell actually. So it's a little bit of a, you know, a, a, a line of delineation here. But what they do is they open a USB or a weapon case, and whatever weapon they get out, they'll play around with it. Uh, and I don't have any in my Steam wallet, but I do have two Dosh crates, and you can get weapon skins out of these. They could be uh, rares or uncommons or even um, even precious like these so what's gonna happen if I don't get weapons out of these two uh, and I'll, I'll scrap the items if they're not weapons and try again if I can't get weapons out of these I'll go and use the p90 which was the last weapon I got out of these uh, dosh crates uh, I've never used the p90 before I usually don't play SWAT I think last time I played SWAT a few times I've played SWAT, I've just used the MP5, just upgraded the MP5. But it, it, if we do have to use the P90, it works out because I, I think I have the MP7 Dosh. Or is that on Xbox? Chris, one I had. Oh, here it is. If we have to play SWAT, it works out because I have the MP7 presses too. Um, let's open these up and see what happens. Okay, so let's recycle that. See if I can see if I have enough crafting material already if I can go for it. Okay, so let me open this one. Okay, recycle that. And now I should have enough to make another item. So let's see what happens. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. Ah. Uh, all right, so we got the SG500. So this is going to be support. So let's equip it. Which one do I normally use? I normally use Street Punks. So I'm using, let's see where is it? I just, I guess, unboxed it. Uh, so the SG500 Vault Blue Camo is what I got to use for this game. Ah, man. All right. Let's solo offline. I've been playing a lot of Steam Fortress. So. I don't know if I want to do an objective mode. I'll just do a um, a regular math. Let's do let's do power core. Let's do power core. Yeah, survival. Short. That's what I normally play. All right. Oh man, I got a starting weapon skin. That's rough. I was hoping to get like um, one of the later game weapon skins because they have ones for like. Um, they have ones for some of the, the lower end or the higher end assault rifles. And I think they have a skin for the bullpup, which isn't that bad either. But I got the SG. So this should be interesting. But um, no, I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I'm going to try to use just this gun. I'm not going to buy any other weapons. I'm going to try to use just this gun. I might have to use the, the 9 mil and the knife. So the support. Make sure I have it on. Where's the very bottom? Okay, yeah, equipped. All right. Well, let's see how this goes. Oh boy. Oh, look at that. Lovely. You are here uh, to clean out Zeds, and here come your first targets. Man, Eyes not. Open. That was some seriously bad luck. And for all, for all I know, this gun is amazing, and I'm just an idiot. Hey, it could have been worse. I could have got like the nine mils. Well, actually, the nine mils not bad. It doesn't have much ammo. So it definitely could have been worse. But depending on how this shotgun goes does in terms of like when I upgrade it and stuff I might see you made it through. There you make go. for the pod and gear up yeah depending on how it turns out I Do might have to there. patch yourself up switch my perks on this class around okay I'm just gonna grab this ammo so back. I can spend a little Doesn't less on ammo spend a little more on upgrading glad you made it back don't bleed on anything 
Alright. Oh boy. Alright, yeah, so all these are off limits. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Right. I don't think I'll need armor this way. So let me see what my perks are. The health is nice, but I might... I'll probably switch to that damage perk on, like, the boss wave. Just so I, I have a little bit of help. Because I don't know how much better the shotgun's going to get. We'll have to see. Break time's over. Get back to work. More Zeds inbound. Alright. thing that is definitely going to hold me back in this game is the fact that this thing is pump action and tube fed. So it's the worst two traits on a shotgun in a game like this. Slow reload, slow fire. But all right, let's not be so negative. Maybe this will maybe this will end up being my go-to strap for support, you know. Oh man, could you imagine if we would have got one of the uh, the vault knives? Like the, because they have like the like vault versions of all the class knives. If I would have gotten one of those, I would have been happy in the long run. So I would have had that knife, but having to play an entire game with just the knife, and I would have had to play with that class. So it's not like you know. Unless you hate living, get some armor. You know. That damage isn't looking too terrible, honestly. Like, hold on, let me see. What's it comparable to? So, okay. So, comparable to, like, what? The M4. You know... This might not be too bad, actually. Snag that. Let's see. Does it give me... Yeah, it gives you extra shotgun damage when you level up. So, if I was perk level 25, this would be easier, but... I forgot you could skip the trader. It doesn't matter at this point. All right. More Zeds on the scope. Back to it, mes amis. Here they come, party time. And that's just the first call. You know what? You know what? This thing is actually doing really well with a few upgrades under its belt. Maybe this wasn't so bad after all. Ah, these things are... Uh... So it definitely could have been worse. Like I said, getting one of the Vol knives would have been a death wish. Because only using the knife to get to the final boss would have been a rub. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, this is where we're really going to see if this thing is... I know those are just quarters, but that's not bad, actually. Just a few shots. I might not even need that extra 30% damage, honestly. This thing is doing pretty well. These Gorefasts go down to one headshot. And those flush pounds really weren't taking me too much work. It was going, they were going down pretty fast. Perfect. Pod is open again. Man, this Let's is going... I will admit, this is going a lot better than get I thought it was going to. And this game doesn't look too, too bad. I, I think this is... I think it said it was Battle Scarred, but it doesn't look like it's Battle Scarred. You know, it's not the most crazy skin in the world, but it kind of reminds me of... um. Like OG blue tiger camouflage. Fix that armor. It looks terrible. It's on that. Okay, so it's completely upgraded. Weighs nine. It weighs nine. So it is comparable to like the doomstick and crap like that. All right. So. So we'll have to see. I'll we'll see how this goes. 
Uh, and I think... Because I haven't dipped past 100 health this entire match, I don't think. So I might switch to the 30% extra damage thing during the boss wave just to be safe. I should have switched now. But actually, that's a full-size flesh bound. That is a full-size flesh bound. There's two full-size flesh bounds. That's lovely. Love. Love that. That's great. All right. All right, buddy. All right. All right. I get it. Get no, okay, do not grab me right now. No, 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 no. Okay, how did I get out of that? Please no siren. No, oh great, I got puked on. Yeah, probably a good thing I had the bonus health thing. That was a, that was, I should have won 100% die just now. That was lucky as hell. Okay, there you go. Too alone. I'm actually... I should not. I should not have survived that. That was ridiculous. Oh, oh, stop grabbing me! Get! Get! Get out of here! Get out of here! Right, he's gonna grab me. Thought he was gonna grab me. He did not. Appreciate that. There you go. This thing, this thing fully upgraded is actually pretty dang good, I will say. Alright. Scrake, I think Scrakes take more damage from bullets. Yeah, they do. I think I remember correctly, uh, Flush Pounds take more damage to explosives, less from bullets. Scrakes are more from bullets, less from explosives. Wow, that, those, this thing tore those e dars apart. All right. So now the boss wave. So this should be interesting. I think. Buy some armor. I need you alive and in one piece. Okay. You know what? I think just, just for the best chance here of this weapon, just getting through this boss, I'm gonna put on the damage thing. Cause I got I got full armor this time, so that's probably gonna be Patriarch. Over. Get back to work. More Zed's inbound. I wanna say this map is always Patriarch. No, it's Abomination. Oh wait. That's not necessarily a good thing for me though. Alright. Well this boss fight arena is small and this boss is a little annoying. He's I don't know. It might be that he's not really well designed. Oh. Well, okay. Get, get. See, those things go down pretty fast. Um. Yeah, the head armor is almost up. Head armor is almost up. It's taking care of these. The, the little guys are really easy. No, 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 no. no. I think he can attempt to eat you to get health back, so I don't want that. You know what? Alright. Oh, I forgot there's regular Zeds thrown in. That's a good boss fight. Get! Ooh, that could have been bad. I think I almost got torn out. The thing I appreciate about the shotguns in this game they actually have range. Because in some games, the shotguns are just, you know, after like 20 meters, they're just... Or not even that. After like 5 meters, they're just confetti cannons. These things actually deal damage at range, which is really nice. You know, you're not going to deal sharpshooter damage at range, but you will at least do damage. Oh, do not suck me in, do not suck me in, do not suck me in. Oh god, these things too, those little like trap looking things, the, the ground trap. They almost look like they almost look like flubber bear traps, those things, those things are annoying, because they rip through your armor when you land them. He drops them everywhere. I do have five frags. I might attempt to dump the frags. Because technically it's part of the class, so it's not like off limits. Get! What side is what side is he coming from? You know 
Great, alright. How did that hit me? What size? I don't even know what size he's coming from. Okay, yeah, I'm throwing one down there for sure. Is he stuck up there? My lucky day. Alright. Let's heal. This boss is really bad about getting stuck. Oh, I got him unstuck. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, no, no, no. The acid things might get me. Ground up. Alright. This boss fight is a little longer than most. Okay, I got the chest armor off. I was going a little fast. Did you get, get out of my face? All right. There you go. Now they got that chest armor off. This guy's going down a lot faster. There you go. All right. I'm still taking a lot of damage from those acid traps, though. Please, no. Figured that was gonna trigger that time. Come on. Yeah, I got it. There you go. There you go. So that was one game with the SG500 that I pulled out of the vault grate. That uh, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to. And I got a I got a, a dark crate from that grate. All right. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to do this again soon. This was really fun. I might try this again soon. Uh, I might try to open, like, an actual USB, though, so I can guarantee I'm going to get a weapon instead of just, you know, hoping I get one. Makes it a little easier, but... 38,000 damage. Alright. Thank you guys for joining me in this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.